Right, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan, the channel where we share all of your Thailand stories. Now today guys, we've got a subscriber called Jerry that wants to share his Thailand experience and how he managed to get a Thai supermodel to end up paying him for aerobics. Stay tuned guys until the end. I don't normally say that in my videos, but this is an interesting one. And just wait till the end before you stick your comments down below. So without further ado, let's jump into today's Thailand story. Hi Dan. My name's Jerry Foley from Boston, USA. I love your channel and enjoy your take on these predatory bar girls. They are indeed a treacherous lot and it's sad to see so many vulnerable men fall victim to them. I am 52 years old and I've been a regular visitor to Thailand for around 20 years. I never fall prey to a bar girl scam. Though I was screwed over and exploited by a civilian Thai girl who became my girlfriend during my first time visiting the country on a one year work visa for a US company in 2007. I was in what I thought was a one on one and monogamous relationship with her. And though she did work a regular job and lived with her family in Bangkok, after about nine months of being madly in love with my first ever Thai or Asian girl, I slowly discovered that I was one of three foreign boyfriends that she juggled around. Boy, did I get my heart broken. But hey, I was dumb and young and the experience wised me up pretty quickly. So once I broke free from that bit, I resolved to never be a sucker again. And I played the field in Bangkok and I played hard and often had more fun in the following year than many men have in their entire lives. Had more fun in the following year than many men have in their entire lives. I racked up some pretty serious numbers and managed not to fall in love or part with much part except of course dinner and drinks tabs and the occasional taxi ride to send them back home. Like the legend Charlie Sheen once said, I don't pay women to come, I pay them to go. Now there's one particular incident that I recall fondly every time I hear about one of your subscribers being taken to the cleaners by a working girl. It happened in one of my subsequent trips to Thailand a few years after working there for one year. I worked a three months on, two months off rotation on a commercial fishing vessel out of Alaska. So like many of my fellow fishermen, I'd spend some or all of my paid off time in Southeast Asia. During the off-season periods, we were paid approximately $1,700 every two weeks by a direct deposit into my bank. You're probably thinking, plenty of money to live happily on for a holiday in Thailand. And normally, it would be. But I was young and having been deprived of sun and beer, and women on a miserable fishing boat for three months on the cold, dark and dangerous Bering Sea between Alaska and Russia. <laughs> Working like dogs for 12, 14, sometimes 16 hours a day, seven days a week. When you land in Thailand flush with cash, 
one's natural instinct is to party like a rock star and that I did. So, on the day in question, I found myself on Koh Samui and pretty broke. Had maybe 1,000 baht on me, but I knew that my next $1,700 weekly distribution would hit my account at 7 a.m. So I wasn't too worried. Just figured I'd go out and have a couple of beers and watch the sunset at a cool bar I liked on Chowing Beach. Well, I set out with innocent intentions, but it being Thailand, I found myself in a familiar situation. I saw two super hot girls at the bar together drinking and paying for their own drinks. Both girls were stunners, and after watching them for a while, I assumed they were high-end, off-duty bar girls. So, as I sat there pacing my beers, one of the girls, the hottest of the two, a real smoke show, approached me and stared, asking all the typical questions. Name, where are you from, are you married, etc, etc. So my instincts kicked in. And I liked the idea of taking her home as she was a pure stunner with a thoroughbred body. <laughs> but I was broke until the next morning, so I just rolled with a conversation and kept drinking beer until she offered to buy me a drink. Now fast forward, the supermodel and I had a few more drinks and during our session, an Irish guy came into the bar and her friend started chatting with him and later left with him. And then the moment arrived. It was 2 a.m. in the morning and the bar was closing. I had a hundred bar left and I saved it for a taxi back to my hotel. I knew that as soon as I got my money in the morning, I would be checking out of the hotel to fly up to Chiang Mai. So, I told my supermodel drinking partner that I go home to the hotel now. And to my delight, she replied, I go with you now. Now there was no mention of money to be exchanged. We then walked out to the road and I said, fine taxi, to which she replied, no, I have a motorbike. And indeed, she did. So we both got on and went back to my hotel. Then once we got into my room and started to get into it, she sprung the trap. I need to take care of my family now. I like you, but you pay me 2,000 baht for all night. Okay? Damn it. Those words stung me. Here I thought I was cool and pulled a supermodel the old fashioned way. Oh well, I should have known, and at that moment it wasn't like I was gonna just say, ah, no, never mind. So I explained my situation and how the money would be in my account in the morning, and she was okay with it. And we got back to business after agreeing that we would go to an ATM together in the morning. Now, we had both drank our fill, and after our session, we both passed out. I'm very sensitive to light, so as soon as the sun started coming up, I woke up with a headache and needing to go for a pee. She was still deep in a heavy sleep and was gently snoring. So off I went into the bathroom. And there, on the floor, next to all her clothes that she discarded before stepping into the shower the night before, was her pocketbook, and the zipper was open, and I could clearly see through the opening a heavy, heavy stack of Thai bat notes. Curious, I took a closer look, and after a quick scan, I determined that there was approximately 12,000 baht in notes of various denominations in there. <laughs> Fucking funny this guy. Crazy. So then, 
Still, with injured pride at having the money trap sprung on me at the height of my arousal, I decided to even the score a bit, and I helped myself to 3,500 of her stash. I then got back into bed with her, woke her up for a bit of the morning glory, and then acted like I was getting out of bed for the first time. We got dressed, went down for breakfast and coffee, and we chatted about our plans for the day. I hadn't told her I was flying out that day, so I acted like I'd be on Samui for a few more days and we could get together later for lunch or maybe dinner. She said, Okay, we go to ATM now. I said, okay, and we got in her motorbike and it was a very short drive until we found an ATM. I hopped off while she waited. I then went through the motions of withdrawing money, pretended to press buttons, etc. I then approached her on foot, gave her 2,000 of the 3,500 I absconded from her purse, gave her a kiss, and myself, a pat on the back. She drove off and I ran like hell back to the hotel. I gathered up my belongings and hopped on a taxi to the airport. Sure, I got there four hours before my flight, but I was delighted and pleased with myself for the brilliant stunts that I had performed. I would like to share this victory with all of those guys who've been done over and taken to the cleaners by bar girls. Take comfort in knowing that this one time at least, I got paid to do a hottie. Now, does that make me a bar boy? Ha ha. Right guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I don't know what you're going to make of this story. For one, I will state that I don't agree with stealing money out of somebody's bag, purse or wallet or whatever, no matter what the cause may be, what the reasons may be. But I don't agree with that. But the rest of the story had some twists and turns and I thought it would be interesting to hear what you guys think. What do you really make of what this guy did. Is it one for Team Falang or is it one for Team Thai or is it just not worth like scoring on? Guys, if you've got your own Thailand story and it's true to life and you'd like to share it on the channel, then please, by all means, get your emails sent in to thaitalkwithdan at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. I've got to start laughing my head off. It's a crazy story, this one. I've read it twice and oh, just funny, funny, funny. I don't condone the, you know, the stealing, but it's, it's a, it, apart from that, it's very funny. Um, but yeah, I need to kind of like be on the fence with this one. Guys, you comment, I'll just wander off. Take it easy. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.